Morning, folks. Brian here with you, Magnetic Earth Watch, Tuesday, May 27, 2025. This is a morning report. I'm going to leave the worst until last. We're going to start off with our sun and our space weather conditions. Our solar wind speeds are abnormally low or lower than they should be, 429 kilometers per second. Considering we have a uh, an ongoing large coronal hole, let me back this up to start from the beginning. So this larger section uh, of the region was exposed to Earth three days ago now. We should have received the faster solar winds by now. Again, so the average solar wind speed is anywhere from 250 to say 325 kilometers per second. It's only about 420 right now. That should be a lot faster. So I don't know if they're concealing actual data. Now I said uh, watch these four areas and that these three will be uh, combining into one. So as of today, coming up, this is current time. So this is now Earth Direct facing therefore we should be receiving some enhanced solar wind speed in approximately two days we should we should have already received this so i'm going to save for the sun for now the only earthquake i want to point out for now is in the sunda strait indonesia between sumatra and drava we have a 4.0 at 74 kilometers depth right at krakatau Earthquakes are very common uh, along the subduction zone, but when they start migrating to uh, Krakatau, some situation awareness is warranted. We have no activated buoys. This one here, Curl, Curl Islands, uh, about three times in recent past, it has been activated in the absence of earthquakes. I will explain why at the end of this video. Let's go check our jet streams. Start off in the southern hemisphere. North America. Now for our heat indications this morning. Oh man. Missed this one on my morning check. This is all part of the concerning part here. Just uh, give me a moment. Fiji is starting to uh, heat up.
Now for the concerning part, folks. We do not want to start seeing uh, heat coming up through uh, ocean ridges and subduction zones. So yesterday I showed you the one right here. Now today, this morning, the subduction zone of the Kuril Islands. These are new. Right here. Okay, come on, it was. Just give me a moment. Uh, remember I told you every once in a while that uh, buoy right here goes into motion every once in a while in the absence of earthquakes just because of a magmatic uplift. And here we go. So here's some of our temperatures. 489 Kelvin. Now this is the brightness radi um, radi radiating temperature. 489 Kelvin. The Celsius temperature is 196 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit is 386 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> These ones, 470 bright brightness temperature, Kelvin. So through the water, let's go take a look at this area. So right here is where we're starting to get our heat. So again, This buoy right here, on a few occasions recently, <clears throat> has gone into motion in the absence of earthquake because of an uplift of this part of the plate, a magmatic uplift, because So folks, <clears throat> just another sign Oh, everything is starting to expand. We have an increase in earthquakes like yesterday. A series of magnitude 5 average all over the planet. Now we have heat indications along fracture zones in the Indian Ocean, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Kuril Islands, subduction zone. We don't want to start seeing these, unfortunately. It's early in the morning. This is the image I was trying to uh, edit into my uh, my talk about the Curl Island subduction zone. The reason why we're showing heat and uh, tsunami boy going into motion every once in a while is because of this, the uh, magmatic body underneath, the pressure being exerted underneath the uh, crust, showing heat detections here. And here, and again, this is something we don't want to see, folks.